Welcome to A Plumber's Views on Life, Work, and Balance. My name is Rudy Uribe Jr., and I'm the Director of Talent Acquisition and Self-Help Trainer for Ruder Hero Plumbing. All of my podcasts are less than five minutes and hopefully bring home a point that can help you improve your life. I'm a big believer in karma. What goes around comes around, the good and the bad, so let's avoid the bad and start shooting for the good. Today's podcast, Writing a Resume or Cover Letter. I must admit that when it comes to resumes and cover letters, I am prejudiced. I prejudge people, perhaps unfairly, by their ability to write. When I look at resumes and I see phrases such as, I have already spoke to him, or I've been a plumber for a long times, I find my prejudice gene kicking in. Writing is important, especially if you're using it to communicate or convey a point. I understand that English is a second language for many people, and I do take that into consideration, and still, I find myself prejudging. Here's the first sentence of a cover letter I received the other day. I interested to work for you company. What's your first impression? I interested to work for you company. Are you going to jump on this candidate? Does he go to the front of the line? Oh, so you prejudge too. Look, it's my job to make the call back anyway, and usually what I got on the phone is similar to what I get on paper or email anyway. Look, I am looking for plumbers and sometimes operation managers, and I am not looking for scholars or rocket scientists. But... I am looking for employees who will make a favorable impression on our customers. I am looking for employees who can fill out an invoice and a time card. And I am looking for employees who care enough to want to make a good first impression. I know I sound like a grammar prude, and believe me when I tell you grammar isn't my strong suit. I was listening to the great Vin Scully, Hall of Fame announcer for the Dodgers a few years back, and I heard Vin say he dived for the ball. What? The great Vin Scully said dived instead of dove? How could he make such a blunder? I mean, you wouldn't say he drived the car, would you? Of course not. He drove the car. Well, knowing Vinny and knowing me, I decided to look it up. The past tense of dive is dived. Dove is actually a bird, and it's pronounced dove. All these years I had it wrong, so I don't always get it right either, but at least I bother to look it up. Look, here's my point. If you're sending out resumes, your writing matters. Have someone you trust check your grammar. Most spell check programs already do that for you. There are free grammar programs that will do it for you. If you see a red squiggly line under a word you wrote, it's probably the wrong word or you misspelled it. If there's a green squiggly line under a sentence, it's probably poorly written. If under education you write, I do high school, it doesn't instill confidence in me that you actually finished high school. I think you get the point. Writing matters. And in today's world of LOLs and OMGs, we've forgotten that there are still a few people out there who read. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, A lot of those people are recruiters. I'm Rudy Uribe, Jr.